crop production and management. Learning about cultivation of crops and several activities undertaken by farmers in crop production and its management. Basic practices of crop production. Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmers over a period of time. These activities or tasks are referred to as agricultural practices. They are as follows. Preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from weeds, harvesting, storage. Preparation of Soil The preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop. One of the most important tasks in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it. This allows the root to penetrate deep into the soil. The loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in the soil. These organisms are friends of farmer. Since they further turn and loosen the soil and add humus to it, the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or ploughing. Ploughs are made of wood or iron. Before ploughing, soil needs watering. The ploughed field may have big piece of crumbs which has to be broken with a plank. The field is leveled for sowing as well as for irrigation purposes. Agricultural Implements Before sowing the seed, it is necessary to break the soil to the size of grains get better yield. This is done with the help of various tools. The main tools used for this purpose are the plough, hoe and cultivator. Plough This is being used since ancient time for tilling the soil, adding fertilizers to the crop, removing the weeds, scraping of soil, etc. This implement earlier was made of wood has now been replaced by iron. It is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals such as horses, camels, etc. Hoe It's a simple tool which is used for removing weeds and for loosening the soil. It has a long rod of wood or iron. A strong, broad and bent plate of iron is fixed to one of its end and works like a blade. Animals pull it. Cultivator Tractor driven cultivator does nowadays plowing. The use of cultivator saves labor and time. Sowing Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality seeds are selected. Farmers prefer to use seeds which give a high yield. Activity Separating good seeds from damaged one. Take a beaker and fill half of it with water. Put a handful of gram seeds and stir well. Wait for some time. You will see some of the seeds start floating on the water. Damaged seeds become hollow and float. Good seeds settle down. This is the good method for separating good healthy seeds from the damaged one. Before sowing, let us study about the tool used for sowing seeds. Traditional tool The tool used traditionally for sowing seed is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel and they are passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pierce into the soil and place seeds there. Nowadays, the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. This tool 
sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depth. It ensures that the soil covers seeds after sowing. This prevents damage caused by birds. Sowing by using a seed drill saves time and labor. An appropriate distance between the seed is important to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows plant to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from soil. Adding manure and fertilizers. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant or animal wastes. Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in particular nutrients. Fertilizers are produced in factories. Some are urea, ammonium, sulfate and superphosphate, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Difference between fertilizers and manure. A fertilizer is an inorganic salt. Manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung, human waste and plant residues. A fertilizer is prepared in factories. Manure can be prepared in the fields. A fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil. Manure provides a lot of humus to the soil. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients. Advantages of Manure An organic manure is considered better than fertilizers. This is because it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases become easy. It increases the number of friendly microbes. It improves the texture of the soil. Irrigation A living being needs water to live. Water is important for proper growth and development of flowers, fruits and seeds of plants. The plant roots absorb water. Along with water, mineral and fertilizers are also absorbed. Plants contain 90% water. Water is essential because germination of seed does not take place under dry conditions. Nutrients dissolved in water get transported to each part of the plant. To maintain the moisture of the soil for healthy crop growth, fields have to be watered regularly. The supply of water to crop at different intervals is called irrigation. The time and frequency of irrigation varies from crop to crop, soil to soil and season to season. Sources of irrigation The sources of irrigation are well, tube wells, ponds, lakes, rivers, dams and canals. Traditional method of irrigation The water available in well lakes and canals is lifted up by different methods in different regions for taking it to the fields. Cattle or human labor is used in this methods. So they are cheaper but less efficient. The various traditional ways are moat, pulley system, chain pump, decay and Rohat, liver system. Pump is commonly used for lifting water, diesel, biogas, electricity and solar energy are used to run 
These pumps. Modern methods of irrigation. Modern methods of irrigation helps us to use water economically. The main method used are as follows. Sprinkler system. This system is more useful on an uneven land where sufficient water is not available. The perpendicular pipes having rotating nozzles on top are joined to the main pipeline at regular intervals. When water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure with the help of a pump, it escapes from the rotating nozzles. It gets sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining. Sprinkler is very useful for sandy soil. Drip system. In this system, the water falls drop by drop just at the position of the root. So it is called drip system. It is the best technique for watering fruit, plants, garden and trees. The system provides water to plant drop by drop. Water is not wasted at all. It is a boon in region where availability of water is poor. Protection from weeds If we see carefully, the weed field, we see that there are some other plants grown along with them. In a field, many other undesirable plants may grow naturally along with the crops. These undesirable plants are called weeds. The removal of weed is called weeding. Tilling before sowing of crops helps in uprooting and killing of weeds. The best time for removal of weeds is before they produce flowers and seeds. This is done with the help of kurpi. A seed drill is used to uproot weeds. Using certain chemicals called weedicides also control weeds. These are sprayed in the fields to kill the weeds. They do not damage the crops. Spraying of weedicides may affect the health of farmers, so they should cover their nose and mouth with the piece of cloth during spraying of these chemicals. Harvesting the cutting of crop after it is mature is called harvesting. In harvesting, crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground. It usually takes 3 to 4 months for a cereal crop to mature. Harvesting is either done manually by sickle or by a machine called harvester. After harvesting, the grain seeds need to be separated from the shaft. This process is called threshing. This is carried out with the help of a machine called combine, which are in fact a combined harvester and thresher. On small holding of land, do the separation of grain and shaft by winnowing. Information Harvest festivals After three or four months of hard work, there comes the day of the harvest. The sight of golden fields of standing crops laden with grains fills the heart of farmer with joy and a sense of well-being. The efforts have borne fruit and it is time for them to relax and enjoy a little. The period of harvest is thus of great joy and happiness in all parts of India. Men and women celebrate it with great enthusiasm. Kungal, Baisakhi, Holi, Diwali are special festivals associated with harvest season. Storage Storage of food grains is an important task. If the crop grains are to be kept for longer time, they should be safe from moisture, insects, rats, and microorganisms. The fresh crop has more moisture. If freshly harvested grain, seeds, 
are stored without drying, they may get spoiled or attacked by organisms losing their germination capacity. Hence, before storing them, the grains are properly dried in the sun to reduce the moisture in them. This prevents the attack by insects, pests, bacteria and fungi. Farmers store grain in jute bags or metallic beans. However, large-scale storage of grains is done in silos and granaries to protect them from pests like rats and insects. Dried neem leaves are used for storing food grains at home. Summary It is necessary to prepare soil by tilling and leveling. Plow and levelers are used for this purpose. Sowing of seeds at appropriate depth and distances gives good yield. Good variety of seeds is sown after selection of healthy seeds. Seed drill do sowing. Soil needs replenishment and enrichment through the use of organic manure and fertilizers. Use of chemical fertilizers has increased tremendously with the introduction of new crop varieties. Supply of water to crops at appropriate intervals is called irrigation. Weeding involves removal of unwanted and uncultivated plants called weeds. Harvesting is the cutting of the macho crops manually or by machine. Separation of grains is necessary to protect them from pests and microorganisms. Food is also obtained from animals for which animals are rare. This is called animal husbandry.